Hello everybody. Uh, I've got an oil cooler here. I took this oil cooler from, I, I'm yet to post the video. It's from a, um, a Nissan Juke uh, in my work. And um, it, as you can see, um, it was mixing, it was mixing oil. We suspect that it's the one that is causing we are seeing a lot of oil in the overflow bottle so we suspected this because when you dip for oil using a dipstick the oil is clean but uh, there is a lot of oil in the water so let me show you uh, from the engine itself so you can see this is this is the vehicle we drained a lot of oil so this that's what you get you know the oil is clean when you dip but the overflow bottle it's actually in my uh, parts washer at the moment because uh, it was just full of oil so this is the vehicle that I'm talking about so now I'll show you uh, what caused me to suspect that this is the cause so in here uh, you have these you've got your your water connections okay we have put this plug here so that we can use a vacuum uh, gauge and you've got water flows in out one way and you've got oil that you know circulates through this and then the, the, the water takes away the heat from the oil so that uh, the oil does not lose its viscosity. So now, I just want to prove that my diagnosis was correct. So I'm going to use a, a vacuum gauge. So if I go, right, look at that. You see that? I am losing vacuum. It should hold all being well. Right. Now, I'm going to pour water where oil is supposed to be. Okay. I will pour water in here you can see I've poured water this is where oil goes it is not related to these two here that's where water goes so now let's do the same test and I want you to watch the gauge and see what happens I am on the water side I'm not on the oil side I've only put water here but there's supposed to be oil so here we go. Just move closer. Let me keep on pumping here. I want to bring you close to the gauge. Let's go to the gauge. Right. Look now, we are holding. Do you see that? Now we are holding pressure. But if you notice, it's actually falling slightly. If you can come closer, please, to the gauge. I want people to see the gauge. If you watch that gauge, you will see that it is actually moving slowly. You know, before we were losing vacuum, but look now, we are losing vacuum slowly. So I'm going to let this sit like that. Look at that. Look this side. We have no water. 
there's no water left. Maybe, let me see if I can put more water. There's no water left. Look, I'm filling it up again. I have to fill it up again. Okay. So we wonder where is the water going? Because we are pouring water on the oil side and you can see we are slowly, slowly losing, uh, losing the, the, the vacuum. Right, I want you to be, I want you to show what's happening in here. Right, Le look what is happening now. Look, when I pump, Look at that. You see that? There's water now in the pipe. So there is a relationship on the oil side and the water side. Hence why we have oil in the overflow bottle. It is the oil that is leaking into the water. It's not the water that is going into the oil. So if you are not careful with this kind of a job, you are going to you are going to change a cylinder head gasket when it's actually this oil cooler. I hope you have enjoyed this video. This is James from Jamro's Electronic Solutions. I'm giving you another tip again that will save you a lot of money and time. If you have enjoyed this video, please uh, click subscribe. And also please hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any content from us. And if you want to contribute, please go to the comment section and tell us what you think about this simple way of diagnosing an oil cooler. I bow out.